Hello friends, today I will discuss about uh, the ultimate flexural strength of RC section where RC means reinforced concrete section. To calculate the ultimate flexural strength of this section, some assumptions are made. Uh, the assumptions are written here. The first assumption is plane section normal to the axis remain plane after bending. Suppose a structure is uh, subjected to bending, then if the if a plane section normal to the axis is already plane, then it remain plane after even after the bending occurs. Then now maximum strain in concrete at extreme compression fiber is assumed as 0 0.0035 in flexure. It is very important point. Now the relationship between the compressive stress distribution in concrete and the strain in concrete may be assumed as rectangle trapezoid parabola. So the stress stress the stress and strain diagram for this uh, concrete section is may be assumed as rectangle or maybe trapezoid or maybe parabola. Then coming to fourth point, the tensile strength of the concrete is ignored. Since we know that concrete is weaker in tensile zone and stronger in compressive zone. So tensile strength of the concrete may be ignored. To calculate this ultimate flexural strength, we will use the graph of which shows the stress and strain. This is the stress strain curve. Two curves are here, one for characteristics curve and other for design curve. So characteristics curve have 0.67 FCK, then design curve have 0.45 FCK value, where FCK is characteristics compressive strength of the concrete. So we will use this stress strain relationship to get the ultimate flexural strength of the RC section. So for flexural strength calculation uh, the design strength from the curve we get the design strength 0.67 FCK again to get this design strength we have to divide we have to divide this value 0.67 FCK by gamma M where gamma M is partial safety factor And according to IS456, this partial safety factor value is 1.5 for concrete. So, 0.67 FCK characteristic strength divided by 1.5. Finally, we get 0.45 FCK. This is the design strength of the concrete. Now, suppose this is a rectangular RC section. This is neutral axis, NA means neutral axis and this is steel reinforcement which have ASE that means area of this steel reinforcement and width of this section is B and effective depth is small d that means depth of this steel reinforcement to the extreme fiber of this concrete. So the stress strain diagram this is strain diagram strain diagram and where we have Maximum strain is 0 
थ्री फाइव विच इज दि एजामशन नम्बर टू एगेन हियर दि स्ट्रेन इन स्टील डिनोटेड बै सिग्मा इ सिग्मा एस एंड डेफ्ट अफ दि निट्रल एक्सिज इज डिनोटेड बै एक्स यू then this is the stress diagram of this rectangular rc section and uh, here t t means tensile force and tensile force is equal to ast ast means um, area of the tension reinforcement into 0.87 fy where fy is the yield strength of the steel reinforcement and this length is 4.45 fck and c means compression force that is c is compressive force t means tensile force tensile force ast area of steel reinforcement reinforcement fy yield strength of steel so we have this stress uh, diagram here stress diagram is parabola and distance of the compressive force from extreme fiber of the concrete is 0.42 xu xu means neutral axis depth neutral axis depth so to calculate the area of the stress block we have two portion one is rectangular portion and one is parabolic portion so area of stress block so for rectangular portion we have 0.45 fck that means 0.45 fck into 0.42 xu that means suppose this is rectangular section and area of this rectangular section is 0.45 fck into 0.42 xu here again we have this parabolic section also so area of this parabolic section is 2 by 3 into 0.45 fck into 0.58 xu <clears throat> after solving this we get 0.36 fck into xu so area of this stress block is 0.36 fck xu there is one again one assumption the assumption is maximum strain in tension reinforcement at collapse should not greater than maximum strain in tension reinforcement at collapse limit should not greater than fy by 1.15 es plus 0.002 or it may be 0.87 fy by es 0.002 where fy is yield strength of the steel which i have already mentioned and 
This term ES is elastic modulus of steel. So calculating the area of the stress block from this diagram if we equal the compressive force and tensile force then we get the depth of the neutral axis so here we equal the tensile force equal to compressive force from tensile force 0.87 Fy AST this is the tensile force 0.87 Fy AST and compressive force is equal to 0.36 FCK B into XU so from this equation we get XU equal to 0.87 Fy AST by 0.36 FCK B this is the equation from which we can calculate the XU that means depth of neutral axis then we can also calculate the moment of ultimate moment which is denoted by mu moment is equal to tensile force into d minus 0.42 xu here tensile force we can place 0.87 fy ast into here d is 0.42 and in place of xu we can calculate uh, sorry we can place the value of xu this is 0.87 fy ast by 0.36 fckb so finally we get 0.87 Fy AST D D is taken out of this bracket so finally we get this equation so this is the equation to calculate the ultimate moment of the RC section where Fy is yield strength of steel, AST area of steel, D is effective depth, FCK characteristic strength of the concrete which we have already mentioned.